Hi, I'm Greg from Rev, and today I'm here to talk to you about our new Ultra 90 Degree Gearbox. This gearbox is an extension of our Ultra Planetary Gearbox system, but uh, can also be used independently. Its purpose is to give you a 90 degree output to your gearbox so that you can build in tighter spaces and adds new functionality for FTC teams that you've never had before. You'll notice the first part about this gearbox is that it mounts on the same side that the through hex goes through. This is actually very similar to our core hex motor, where you have the through bore with the mounting right on that surface. That allows you to do a lot of really great support right through it, and that shaft will go all the way through the gearbox. So giving you a lot of flexibility there. Um, you'll also notice that we feature mounts on the back sides so that you can mount this independently for things like intakes or things where you might want to put the motor totally remote of this gearbox. The gearbox is actually designed pretty tough. It's got a ball bearing supported output shaft, so this thing can pretty much take anything that you can throw at it. Let's take a look at what's in the kit when you buy this gearbox. So when you get the gearbox, you obviously get the Ultra 90 gearbox itself. You get a spacer plate, and this spacer plate is for spacing off the Ultra Planetary itself. You get all of the hardware required to mount this to an Ultra Planetary gearbox. But, and then you also get these two short pieces of 5 millimeter hex. So let's assemble this and see kind of how, this go, how easy this is to go together. So the first thing you do is, if you're mounting this on an Ultra Planetary, start with an Ultra Planetary that's put together the completely normal way. Uh, we've got a video of how to put this together that we'll link to in the description um, if you want to see that. But this is as simple as put the spacer ring on, this can free float, and then you take the piece of 5 millimeter hex shaft that's included and you just drop it down in, in there. You do not need to use the set screw for this. It's completely trapped and captured so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you take the ultra 90 degree gearbox, line it up with the 5 millimeter hex, and then use the included hardware through these four holes here. And then this, this going through the spacer, will then screw into the mounting holes that are already in the ultra planetary itself. So if you use your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to screw these down, it is as simple as that. Tighten these up and you are totally done and ready to use this. Now if you need to change the gear ratio on your ultra planetary, uh, you will have to take this off, but it's pretty easy to just kind of put this back on. So that leaves you with this assembly that, uh, as you can see, gives you that nice angular output of your HD hex motor. Let's look at a couple applications. So one of the biggest ones uh, that I know that teams everywhere are going to love is using this on the drivetrain of your robot. And so over here I've got um, one of our uh, Mechanum drivetrain kits that we modified. And instead of the ultra planetary and HD hex motors coming straight out or with a chain or a belt, we're using the ultra 90 degree gearbox in between the frame rails. This is designed perfectly to fit in the exact same spacing as all of our standard drivetrain kits from the V3 starter kit or beyond, so it's a very easy swap or addition. This allows you to have this giant piece of space in the middle of your robot. So if you've got an intake or an elevator or some sort of pass through for your game pieces, this is real estate that was previously consumed by motors coming into this space and that you had to design around. This gives you a little bit of new flexibility that maybe you haven't seen before. You also do get the ability uh, to use this totally independently. So let's say you wanted to use this on an intake where you had, an in where you had a wheel for an intake motor. You could actually put a piece of hex shaft in here and drive it from a motor that's totally somewhere else on your robot. So you don't have to have all the weight all the way out there on the intake. We think this is going to open the door to a whole bunch of brand new uh, building and designing on your robots. And we look forward to seeing how you integrate this on your robots in both this year and in years to come. If you've got any questions, uh, we've got a lot of documentation and some other application examples at docs.revrobotics.com. And as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to email us at support at revrobotics.com. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.